Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial in this Django tutorial series. And like I told you in the previous video, in this video I'm going to be going through all of these files. What do these files mean and how important they are and all that stuff. So for that, let me go into the Django directory and then explain it to you one by one. So if you look at the Visual Studio code, it says movie review which is this one over here and when you extend this one and you see all the folders inside it which is main movie review the database and manage.py as you can see right over here and when we extend main.py you get to see all these files over here which are migrations models views those are right over here and then let's just close this one and see movie review let's go back and see movie review it shows all the files inside move review like settings.py, urls.py, and whgi.py. So that's basically the file structure, like how it's laid out in Visual Studio Code. And I'm gonna explain you one by one what these files mean. So for starting off with manage.py, so you have been using manage.py whenever you're opening the server, I mean starting the server or closing the server. So basically the work of manage.py is to uh, start a server and run a server so and also there are other things you can do with it like create uh, super user or something so this is basically just this you do, do not have to edit the code over here change it or update it or anything so that's manage.py this is db.sqlite3 so in the local production we are going to be using sqlite3 as our database and you don't have to directly modify this file we are going to modify using another file inside Django so that's the database so inside the movie review this is our main project settings structure so in init.py you don't have to worry about it this is about all storing the cache and stuff initialization the other most important is settings.py so what basically the settings.py is is like an um, engine so what an engine engine does is it just basically gives you like a certain protocol that you need to follow in order to build certain websites. So let's say there's a loud host. It's like we're running in local host when we're in production. We have to set those as the production level host. And these are the apps, middleware and stuff. You don't have to change a lot in the settings.py, but there are some certain things that you have to modify which I will explain to you why we're doing this and where we're doing it. So you don't have to worry about it for right now as long as you have already installed main in the install app. So next is the urls.py. This is very important because urls.py is basically defining the URLs in your website. So let's see. Let's go to Visual Studio Code homepage. So this is the homepage and whenever you go to docs as you can see forward slash docs this is one url blog forward slash blog api forward slash it's going to show api so those are the urls and in django we are going to use urls.py to do that and wsgi.py you don't have to worry about it right now but at the end when we are deploying the website we need to modify it a little bit so you don't have to worry about it so from these files it's just the URLs and the settings that we are going to be changing just a little because we haven't uh, come to the real important file yet. So inside the main, this is our app. This is the cache. These are the migrations from the database that we're going to do. We are not going to use it. Init.py, we are not going to use it. Admin.py. So this is this is for our backend administrative panel. So Django provides administrative panel and then whenever we need to view the tables in the database we need to register it over here and I, I would say basically there would be like one line of code for each table so you don't have to write a lot on this one it's just like admin.site.register it's fairly simple and you'll get the hang of it apps.py you don't have to worry about it models.py this is one of the most important over here because models simply means database so this is creating all the tables in models.py so let's say we have a person table this is where you're going to be creating the person table and if we have any other tables all the tables are going to be over here so this is models.py so this is very important we're going to be using it test.py we don't have to worry about it right now and i don't use it at all 
and views.py this is the most important that we are going to be using constantly because this is the main logic of the program so if we want to interact with the database like get data from the database this is views it's all happening in the views so this is the most important file so uh, about all of the file structures uh, whenever we need it I will show you how you can get it and the purpose of getting it so as far as the basic file structure over here that was it if you have any problems regarding any of these files just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions so until next video thanks for watching